how to time it to find the proper climate the one that doesn't feature any snow because when it snows you shiver and it's difficult to fly there isn't any food which is on Almost spring. In spring, the weather is lovely. It elevates the mood, but even more important, there's a plentitude of food. So if you're feeling peckish, you can go for seconds, even thirds. Winter's for the birds. No, it isn't. It's an expression. Oh, winter. Of my day, oh, Frog has been a lovely friend to me. Frog is very kindly in her nature, magnanimous whenever playing host. Of all the creatures in my sphere of influence, I'm fondest of the frog the most. There is a frog. There is a toad. And she lives just down the road. There could be no better friend for me. For me, it seems. Frog is the frog. Toad is the toad. Oh. Funny, I was about to ask you the same thing. Huh, well, it certainly is nice to see you. I feel the same way. How has your winter been? Well, I'm hibernating, so there isn't much to report. It's about the same for me. This is a very nice dream, though. Yes, it is. Well, I'm getting ready to wake up, so you'd better get back to your own dream. But I'll see you when we wake up. Yes, I'd better get back to hibernating. Spring is nearly here. I think it's just around the corner. Friends?
to hand me my shoe. Why, of course, Toad. Thank you, Frog. <laughs> Good night. But, Toad, it's April. Oh, it's April? Yes! Good, wake me up in May. <laughs> but, who'll be lonely without you? Ah. It's an excellent season, wonderful things to see and to do. And yet I am sad for an excellent reason. Spring isn't springy. No, not without you. Oh, but it's a long time until May. Oh, let's see. January's over. February's over. March is over. <laughs> April's almost over. Oops, I guess April is over. Toad, it's May! It's May? According to your calendar, it is! Oh my! <laughs> There's so much to do! I've got to clean the house, I've got to mow the yard, and I have got to get some breakfast. I haven't eaten since January. Wrong. Frog. What is it? You know, I was just thinking, that extra month of sleep really makes a difference. <laughs> Smell the flowers. See the plants. Hear, Hear the, the marching of the ants. ants. Feel the sunshine. Feel the breeze. Look out, frog, oh. here come some bees. Listen to the birdies sing. Tweet, 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 let's greet the spring. Let's greet the spring. It's I think that this year, I would like to plant a garden. You would? Yes, I would. A garden can be hard work. I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Okay. Well, then it just so happens that I have these flower seeds in my pocket. Plant them in the ground and water them, and soon you will have a garden. Um, when? Soon. Oh. <laughs> well, I just have to plant these seeds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, five, seven, seven, three. Okay, now I have to water them. <laughs> There, you have been planted. Now it's time to grow. <clears throat> I said it's time to grow. <gasps> grow! Oh, what on earth is the matter? These seeds won't grow. Well, that's because you're shouting at them. Those seeds 
kids are afraid to grow. They are? Yes! Just leave them alone for a while. I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Well, my clock is broken. Mm, I wonder how that happened. I don't know, but without my clock, how will I know when a while is over? Well, you'll know because the seeds will have grown. Yes, but when? Soon. When is soon? It's sometime in between right now and later. You're not helping, Frog. Just be patient, Toad. Frog said that the seeds would grow soon. But soon is over. Yes, I'm quite sure that soon is over, and now it's later. <sighs> this is all my fault. I shouldn't have raised my voice with the seeds. Oh, seeds, I'm so very sorry. I didn't mean to raise my voice with you. Don't be afraid. Go on and grow. Are you afraid or are you slow? I am your gardener. You are my seeds. I will attend to all of your needs. Come on, come on, up out of the dirt. It's safe out here, you won't get hurt. It's safe out here, you have my word. You don't believe me, let's ask a bird. Hey, bird! What is it, Toad? I have some seeds planted in my garden. <gasps> seeds? Terrific! I love seeds! You see, seeds, you are loved. Well, where are they? I want to eat them. <laughs> Quiet, bird. They'll hear you. Well, seeds can't hear. <laughs> Trust me, they hear everything. Oh, brother. Shh! No one will harm you. No one will dare. If anyone tries, I'll be there. I will be watching every minute, every hour, till you grow up to be a flower. Don't be afraid, go on and grow. Are you afraid or are you slow? I am your gardener, you are my seeds. I will attend to all of your needs. Uh, seeds, I will recite a poem for you. <clears throat> Violets are red, roses are blue. <laughs> They're growing, why aren't you? Seeds, I will do an interpretive dance for you. <laughs> Seeds, I will play the tuba for you. Sorry, Seeds. I have to rest, but I will be right here if you need me. I was up half the night. I must have frightened those seeds very badly. Well, I mean, you couldn't have frightened them too badly. They're growing. They are? Yes, look! <laughs> I don't see. Look more closely. Hmm. <gasps> oh, you're right. They are growing. They are really small. Well, they'll grow bigger. When? Soon.
Gardening is hard work. <laughs> yes, but doesn't it make you happy? Yes, it does. Frog, what time is it? Uh, it's about ten o'clock. I'm no longer happy. Why? Oh, ten o'clock is my sad time of day. Well, why is that? Well, ten o'clock is supposed to be when the mail comes. And? And it never does. I've never even received a letter. Never? Never, ever. Will you excuse me, Toad? There's something I must do. Sure. Go ahead, Frog. Hello, Frog. Hi, Mouse. Hi, Snail. Hello, Frog. What are you doing? I have just finished writing a very important letter to Toad. An important letter? Wow. Snail. Yes, Frog. Will you do me a favor? Why, of course I will. Will you deliver this letter to Toad for me? Me? You want me to deliver a letter? Yes, will you? Why, of course I will. And I am flattered that you are putting your trust in me. I will deliver your letter, Frog. You can count on me. I'm carrying a letter, a most important letter, a letter Frog has written to Toad. Why well, love to stay and chat, stick around and chew the fat, but duty calls and I must hit the road. I'm the snail with the mail, I'll deliver without fail, in the rain or sleet or snow. No snail has feet more fleeter, why I'm practically a cheetah, I put the go in escargot. Yes, Frog? Just curious. Uh, did you happen to get any mail today? No, I didn't. Well, it certainly is a lovely day for a swim. Yes, it is. Frog, I have to ask you a favor. Sure, what is it? I need you to look away until I get into the water. Well, why is that? Well, because... I look funny in a bathing suit. Huh? I look funny in a bathing suit It's a fact you can't dispute I look funny in a bathing suit You do? I do But I don't Trust me Okay No peeking <gasps> I wouldn't peek It's safe to look now, Frog. I'm in the water. Well, how is the water? It's cold. Yes, but isn't it refreshing? It's a little bit more cold than refreshing, if you ask me. Well, then swim a little. I am swimming. You swim slowly. I swim just as fast as toads are meant to swim. Well, I'm sure that's true. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> what is it? It's Turtle. 
Oh, but what's wrong with Turtle? Well, when I get out of the water, she'll see me, and I... I know, I know, you look funny in a bathing suit. Would you please ask her to leave? Oh, very well, Toad. <laughs> Turtle? Problem? Yeah. I'm afraid you'll have to go away. Why should I? Well, apparently... Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Gee, that ought to be a hoot. Hey, everybody! Shh. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Now, see here, Turtle. Hi, you mouse. What's all the hubbub? Well, I want Turtle to leave, and she won't leave. Well, how come you won't leave? Because I'm waiting for something. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting to get a load of Toad, get a load of Toad, get a load of Toad. I'm here to get a load of Toad, get a load of Toad, get a load of Toad. Can't wait to get a load of Toad, get a load of Toad, get a load of Toad. Tell me why, I'll tell you why. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. It's a riot, it's a hoot. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Well, are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. It's a fact, it's indisputable. You know where bamboo comes from, don't ya? Hmm, a bamboo shoot. Things you cannot dispute. Bamboo comes from the bamboo shoot. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. What's everyone standing around for? <gasps> oh no! We're here to get a load of toad, get a load of toad, get a load of toad. He's funny. Get a load of toad, get a load of toad, get a load of toad. So funny. Get a load of toad, get a load of toad, get a load of toad. He's hilarious. What's so funny about toad? What's so funny about toad? Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit? It's a riot, it's a hoot. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. It's a fact. It's indisputable. You know where rutabaga comes from, don't you? The rutabaga root! Frog! Three things you cannot dispute. Bamboo comes from the bamboo shoot. Rutabaga comes from the rutabaga root. And Toad looks funny in a... Frog, I'm freezing! So come on out! We can't wait to get a load of toad, get a load of toad, get a load of toad. He's funny. Get a load of toad, get a load of toad, get a load of toad. So funny. Get a load of toad, get a load of toad, get a load of toad. He's hilarious. What's so funny about toad? Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. It's a riot, it's a hoot. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit. You know, I don't see what's so funny. That's because you don't know from funny. I bet you don't even know what the funniest fruit is, do ya? I'm sure I don't. Tell the toad. Bananas! Four things you cannot dispute. Bamboo comes from the bamboo shoot. Rutabaga comes from the rutabaga root. Bananas are the funniest fruit. And toad looks funny in a bathing suit. That's it. I've had it. I'm turning blue. I'm getting out of the water. Get a load of toad. I know. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit.
Frog! Frog! I brought you this fine lunch of iced tea and sandwiches. <laughs> oh, look, there's a note. <clears throat> Dear Toad, I am not at home. I went to the rock in the lake to be alone. She wants to be alone. She has me for a friend. Why would she want to be alone? She must be very sad. I must cheer her up, but how? I know, I'll bring her a surprise. But what? <laughs> Duh, I'll just bring her this fine lunch. <sighs> oh, look at Frog sitting over there all alone. Frog, Frog, it's me, your best friend, Toad. I've got to get to that rock. <gasps> taxi, taxi! <clears throat> Taxi! Watch it, this thing's wobbly. Hurry, I've got to get to that rock. Frog wants to be alone. Well, maybe if she wants to be alone, you should just leave her alone. <sighs> maybe you're right. Maybe Frog doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Maybe. <laughs> frog, Frog, it's me. I'm sorry for all the silly things I say and do. Please be my friend again. <laughs> Told you it was wobbly. Toad, is that you? Yes, help. Oh, here, take my hand. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Oh no, the iced tea spilled and the sandwiches are wet. I made them hoping that they would make you happy. But, Toad, I am happy. You are? Yes, very happy. But then, why did you want to be alone? Sometimes the days, they can be very busy So I like to stop and think now and then I think of the reasons I have to be happy And that makes me happy all over again What made you think that I was unhappy? What were you thinking was making me blue? I only came out here to sit and remember I love being a frog in the warm sunny summer on days such as this one that's what I It's been since April, since I have been sad I'll go be alone to sit and be thankful For all that I've had and all that I have What made you think that I was unhappy? What were you thinking was making me blue? I only came out here to sit and remember That's a very good reason for wanting to be alone. Yes, but now I will be happy not to be alone. Let's eat lunch! The iced tea spilled. I know, Toad. And the sandwiches are wet. I know, Toad. Thank you.
I'm carrying a letter, a most important letter, a letter that was written by Frog. I'm traveling so fast, I'm assuming you're a gas, or at the very least you are a god. I'm the snail with the mail, I'll deliver without fail, pardon the cloud of dust. I'm feeding with an envelope as fast as any antelope, forward and onward I thrust. Here I come, Toad! <laughs> toad? Yes, Frog? Just curious again. <laughs> Did you happen to get any mail today? No, I didn't. Frog, I never get... Never mind. Well, I'm going to put a batch of cookies in the oven and they'll be ready in about seven to eight minutes. Good. <laughs> Frog, what time is it? Ooh, I didn't wind my watch today. You didn't? No. But my clock is broken. Yeah, so you've mentioned. Uh, how will I know when it's time to take the cookies out? Mm -hmm. Hi, Toad. Oh, hello, Mouse. Is something wrong? Yes. I'm making cookies. And? And, well, I made the cookies precisely according to the recipe, but now the recipe's saying to leave them in the oven for seven to eight minutes. And? And my clock is broken. And? And the cookies are in the oven. Well, how long ago did you put them in? I don't know. My clock is broken. Well, did you check to see if they're golden brown? No, my clock is broken. But Toad, you could just check to see if the cookies are golden brown. Quiet, Mouse, I'm getting an idea. I could just check to see if the cookies are golden brown. <laughs> Good idea, Toad. <laughs> well? They're golden brown, all right. Well, we'll take them out. I'm getting another idea. Whoa, I better take them out of the oven. <laughs> well? They're perfect. Would you like one? Mm, no thanks, Toad. I don't want to spoil my appetite. I'm having lunch at 12 o'clock. Oh. Um, what time is it now? I don't know. My frog. Oh, his clock is broken. Right. Mm, well, I better get going then. Goodbye, Mouse. Good luck, Frog. I'm going to put another batch in the oven. <laughs> <clears throat> Frog, hmm? try a cookie. But I thought they were for after dinner. Mm, yes, well, I was thinking about that, and I think that we should try just one to see if they're any good. Well? This is a marvelous cookie. Sweet, with an excellent crunch. Perfect to follow a dinner. Or just after breakfast. And, and prior, prior to lunch. lunch. Crisp, but not overly brittle. Just a scintilla of spice. Cunningly soft in the middle. Let's have another. These cookies are nice. Eating cookies, cookies, we're so happy. Eating cookies, 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 we adore. Cookies, 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 we go cookie eating cookies. Maybe we should stop. 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 Maybe we should stop.
What an excellent plan. Thank you. However, there is a problem with the plan. What plan? The no more eating cookies plan. What is it? The problem with the plan. The no more eating cookies plan. Is if we want to eat more cookies, then in fact we can. We could untie the string and open it. That's true. How about a cookie? Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> eating cookies, eating cookies, we're so happy. Eating cookies, 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 we adore. Cookies, 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 we go cookie eating cookies. Maybe we should stop. Oh, let's have more. Oh, we have to do something. You're right, I'll get some milk. No, we must stop eating these cookies. I know, we'll get them to the birds. Hey, birds! Should we be eating these cookies? Or should we rather have worms? Worms are a product of nature. Toad did the baking. Thank God the germs. Well, I never. Would make the tastiest cookies. Go on and try one. You're great! If you eat one of these cookies, I'm here to tell you. Eating cookies, eating cookies. We're so happy eating cookies, 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 cookies. cookies. We adore. Cookies, 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 we go cookie eating cookies. If we have a box, we must have more. Eating cookies, eating cookies, we're so happy eating cookies. Yes, frog? We are in luck. There is a nice breeze today and our kite will fly up and up in the sky. Really, frog? Do you think so? Oh, yes. Now I will hold the ball of string and you hold the kite and run and run. All right. Here I go. <laughs> what is so funny? That kite won't fly. Not in a million years. You might as well give up. This kite will fly, way up into the air. Look up there, in the air. I don't see it anywhere. I guess it must be on the ground. I don't see it, I see you. I wonder where it could be found. The weather is lovely, sunny and bright. An absolutely perfect day to go outdoors with a dragon kite. Up, frog, this kite will not fly. This kite will fly. By and by, it'll fly. We must make another try, no matter what those birds have said. This time, though, when you go, here's a trick you need to know. Keep 
Wonderful surprise. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Toad. Hello, Frog. It's a lovely autumn day. <laughs> yes, it is. And that is why I was going for a walk. Oh, well, it's a perfect day for a walk. Yes, it is. And where are you going, Frog? Me? Yes. I'm out on a stroll. Yes, a leisurely stroll, which is a little slower than a walk or I'd join you. Yes, that's pretty slow because... Uh, I'm going on a brisk walk. Very brisk. <laughs> well, enjoy your walk, Toad. And you enjoy your stroll, Frog. I will. <laughs> this plan is working perfectly. Frog will never know who raked her yard. This plan is working perfectly. Toad will never know who raked his yard. She'll never know. He will not ever suspect. Who raked the yard. Nor will he ever detect He, he will, will come home She'll scratch her head He'll furrow his brow She'll stroke her chin And wonder how How, 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 how My aching back <sighs> The work is slow Oh, what a tedious chore And kind of dull Breaking is rather a bore But, but despite A little 
And how was your stroll? Leisurely, very leisurely. Oh, well, I was going to go do some chores. Oh, really? So was I. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you, Frog. Yes, indeed. Goodbye, Toad. Goodbye, Frog. <laughs> Sorry if I'm late, Frog. Oh, you're not late. Am I early? No, you're right on time. I was just about to pour the tea. Uh, I never know whether I'm late or early. My clock is broken. Mm, so you've mentioned. This is terrible weather. Yes, it's a dark and stormy night. Yes, I suppose it is. It is the perfect night for something. Do you know what that is? A cup of tea. Well, yes, that, but also something else. A cookie! Oh, yes, that, but also something else. 
Oh, I give up, Frog. What is good for a dark and stormy night? Do you give up? I just did. Oh, so you did. Oh. Well, then I'll tell you. Okay. It's a perfect night for a spooky story. Yes, I suppose it is. Would you like to hear one? I don't know, Frog. Well, don't you like to be scared? I'm not so sure. Well, when I was a very young frog, I went on a picnic in the woods with my parents. Mother frog and father frog, it was a lovely picnic in the Mother Frog. Yes, Mother Frog. I have some news. It isn't very good. What is the news? What is the news? Father Frog. What is the news? When we set out on our picnic, the sun was on the right, and I could tell direction by the angle of the light. But now it's gotten cloudy. We've traveled pretty far. I hate to have to tell you, but I don't know where we are. You mean we're lost? Yes, we are lost. We are lost. Yes, we are lost. You were lost? Yes, yes we were lost. My goodness. You were. We are lost. There, there, mother. Why are you so upset? Oh, it's nothing, dear. Mother's only tired. Is all. Don't you think we should tell her, dear? Tell me what? Tell her what? What lurks out there? What lurks out there? What lurks out there? This is bound to frighten you, dear. This is bound to frighten you. Tell me. Very well. well. There is a frog, a large and terrible frog. He is terribly large and largely terrible. 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 Large and terrible frog. He's mean and awful. He's awful mean. His wrinkly skin is pasty green. He eats little bunnies. Dipped in dirt, and he likes frog children for dessert. Oh, oh my! my. He's a frog, a large, and terrible frog. He is terribly large and largely terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Large and terrible frog. You stay right here, dear. Your mother and I will go into the pathway home. And so off my parents went in search of the pathway home. You mean they left you all alone? Yes. And soon it became very dark. Did this really happen, Frog? Well, maybe yes, and maybe no. Do you want me to stop telling you the story? <gasps> no, no, tell me! Very well, I waited and waited, and there I was. I'm a young little frog all alone in the night. My parents have left, which doesn't seem right. I am very afraid, that is how I feel. I don't wish to end up a meal. I think eating others is rude, and I bet that it hurts me. Frog 
children already tonight that I have no appetite. Well, it's been very nice meeting you. I'll just be going now. Not so fast! First, you must do something for me. What is it? After dinner, I like to have a little exercise so I can work up an appetite for a late snack. Exercise? Yes. Skipping rope. And you shall turn for me. Take hold of that act. Yes, you're large and terrible, miss. Skippy, 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 skippy every night. Skippy helps to generate an appetite. Tadpole, tadpole, pollywog. Soon I will be snacking on a little frog. Skippy, 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 skippy every night. Skipping helps to generate an appetite. Some like muffins, some like scones. I like the taste of little froggy bones. <laughs> All right. My appetite has returned. Now come to me, little frog. This is terrible. Well, he is the large and terrible frog. <laughs> what did you do? What shall I do? What did you do? What shall I do? Whatever did you shall I do? He started coming toward me, but my hand was on the rope. He was just enormous, but he also was a dope. I ran around in circles till I tied him to a tree. You a little of my best snapper? What have you done to me? And then I ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran. I ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran. I ran and ran and ran and then I saw my parents in a glen. So then we came upon a path and we went home and took a Did this really happen, Frog? Well, maybe yes and maybe no. I'm carrying a letter, a most important letter, a letter that was written by frog. But in the snowy frosting, running is exhausting, so maybe I'll slow to a jog. I'm the snail with the mail, I'll deliver without fail in the ice and snow and slush. Ooh. 
though it's getting dusky, I'm pretending I'm a husky. Mush, 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 mush. Ow! Yes, frog? Just curious again. <laughs> Did you happen to get any mail today? No, I didn't. I never get any mail and it makes me very upset. So why do you constantly insist on bringing it up? Oh, I'm sorry, Toad. That's quite all right, frog. Oh, I wonder what time it is. I don't know that either. As I have repeatedly explained to you, my clock is broken. Oh, I yeah. need a new one. So you've mentioned, I'm sorry. Well, here we are at the top of the hill. I mean, look at that view! <laughs> yes, the snow is lovely, but it's an awfully long way down. Oh, well, it'll be easy on my sled. Oh, I don't know, Frog. I don't think you should go. It, it looks very scary. Well, it's not as if I'll be going alone. Oh, you won't be going alone? No, of course not! <laughs> Good, well, that makes all the difference. Yes, it does. Um, who will you be going with, Frog? You, Toad. <laughs> no, Frog. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. I'll be behind you the whole time. You'll see, it's pleasant sledding down the hill. It's more pleasant sitting at home with a warm bowl of soup. Well, we can do that once we've reached the bottom. Come on, take a risk. Oh, very well, Frog. I'll go along with it. <laughs> You'll see, it's pleasant sledding down the hill. You ready? Well, here we go! <laughs> Down the hill we are sliding, down the hill, gently gliding down the hill. What a thrill, so exciting, it's a thrill to be riding down the hill. Oh, to see the scenery, such a lovely sight. Don't you love the greenery, frosted all in white? This is rather pleasant, Frog. Well, I told you were right. It's, it's pleasant, pleasant sledding down the hill. Now we'll go where it's deeper and the snow's somewhat deeper down the hill. Is it safe, Frog? Absolutely, Toad. There's a bump up ahead there, which we'll jump with our sled there down the hill. Whoa! My, that was inspiring. Riding through the air. Though I, though I must admit to you, it gave me quite a scare. Why are you so quiet, Frog? Oh, you're no longer there. It's pleasant sledding down the frog. Hello, Frog. What are you doing here? Hello, Moles. I'm going to throw off with the sled, and now Toad is going down the hill alone. Oh, he'll be fine as long as he doesn't take the path on the left. Which path did he take? The path on the left. Down the hill, going faster, heading straight for disaster down the hill. Watch the trees, watch the boulders, tuck your knees to your shoulders down the hill. Oh, I have never been brave, I have never known how. My chances are slim, I'm gonna start now. I'm a terrified toad on a runaway sled, and soon I am going to be dead. I'll be smashed on the side of a rock. So I doubt I'll be needing that clock. Down the hill, going faster, down the hill, going faster, down the hill, going faster, down the hill, going faster! Down the hill, going faster. <laughs> I'm alive! Thank goodness I'm alive! Well, of course you're alive! I am so happy! Wonderful! And angry. Well, why? You left me all alone! Well, I couldn't help it! I was... Yes, you could have! You could have not suggested we went sledding down the hill, putting us at such a terrible risk! Now, Toad... Don't now Toad me! 
I was in absolute peril. Well, where are you going? I'm going home to eat a warm bowl of soup, and I'm never going to speak to you again. Toad, you're I'm the snail with the mail, I'll deliver without fail. Toad. Hello, snail. <laughs> Hello, toad. I have a letter for you. You do? Oh, thank you, snail. You're welcome. Well, I gotta run. <laughs> Dear Toad, that's me. Today when you told me you were sad because you had never received a letter, it made me sad too. I suppose that is how it is with you and me. I am writing you this letter hoping that it will make you feel happy, knowing all along that unless you are happy, I cannot be. Your friend, Frog. Frog? Yes, Toad? I'm speaking to you again. I'm glad. You know, at home, I have some soup. That's nice. If you want, I could heat some up for you. That would be very pleasant. I guess it was because I may have been ashamed of who I am or what I was. I thought I'm just a snail, a lot of shell, a little goo. But all of that has changed is now the following is true. I got something I do, something I'm proud of, because I do it pretty well. Big bang boom, give me some room. I'm coming out of my shell Get out the word Find me a witness Blow on a trumpet Ring a bell Holy smokes Look at me folks I'm coming out of my shell There were slugs who doubted me I guess that made me nervous I never even dared to dream of life in civil service They said I wasn't fast enough They said, hey, you're too gooey But then I turned around and told them fooey That's all hooey I was nothing but goo Under the surface Big and to jail. Holy cow, look at me now. I'm coming out of my I'm coming out of my I'm going postal. I'm coming out.
leave. The fire is burning. The hot chocolate is ready. But Frog is late. At least I think she's late. It's been dark for a very long time. Maybe something happened to her. Maybe something bad. Maybe something terrible. Maybe she's lost in the dark and she's cold and shivering. Maybe she's stuck at the bottom of a hole and she's cold and shivering. Maybe she's being chased by a wolf and, well, she wouldn't be cold and shivering because, well, when you run, it warms you up. But that's not the point. The point is that Frog is in danger. I must do something. I must help my friend. I have to get a, a light and a rope and a frying pan. Frog, Frog, don't worry, I'll save you. I'm prepared for any situation. If you are lost in the dark, you are lost in the dark, and your fingers are starting to freeze. I have a light that will cut through the night so you won't bump your head on the tree. Or if you are deep in a hole, yes, stuck in a hole, and no one can hear as you shout. I have a rope, a thick piece of rope, and I'll use it to help pull you out. I am not afraid. Well, I am, but I'll be brave. Frog, 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 you are the one I'm going to save. If there's a wolf at your heels, giant wolf at your heels, and you're running as fast as you can, I'll stop the wolf, I'll in fact bop the wolf on the head with a big frying pan. I am not afraid. Well, I am, but I'll be brave. Frog, 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 frog. Hi, Toad. You are the one I'm going. Frog, you're here. You're not lost in the dark. No. You're not stuck at the bottom of a hole? No. You're not being chased by a wolf, are you? No. Well, where have you been? Oh, I'm sorry I was late, but I was wrapping your gift. For me? Yes. May I open it? Of course. <laughs> It's a clock. <laughs> yes, and it keeps very good time. <laughs> I needed a clock. Well, I know you did, Toad. <sighs> Your present's not here. Well, that's okay. It was supposed to have been delivered today. Oh, it's being delivered? Yes. By whom? Snail. Oh, well, then maybe we should sit down. Oh. <laughs> I'll put this on the mantle. This is lovely wrapping paper, Frog. Thank you. Oh, it's a nice fire. It's warm. Oh, this is a very peaceful Christmas Eve. It didn't start out that way. I'm sorry I was late. I was very worried, you know. Very worried. Felt as though there'd be no Christmas even though it's Christmas Eve. No, it wouldn't feel like Christmas. Not without you, I believe. Christmas wouldn't come without you. Only winter's cold, I fear. But it really feels like Christmas now that you are here. Sure, it's cold, but we've hot chocolate and the fire burning away. By the fire, see the clock lit. Now, now it's almost Christmas Day. Merry almost Christmas. Happy that you're here. Merry almost Christmas. Happy 
Christmas frog. Merry Christmas, Toad. Happy almost New
frog has been a lovely friend to me. Frog is very kindly in her nature, magnanimous whenever playing host. Of all the creatures in my sphere of influence, I'm fondest of the frog the most. Hello, Frog. Hello, Toad. Are you hibernating? Why, yes, I am. And you? Oh, yes, most definitely. And I have had many, many dreams. Uh, funny, so have I. Really? Well, have they been good dreams? Some have been good dreams, some have been not so good dreams. But you have been in every one. Well, that's funny, because you've been in all my dreams, too. Well, I had one not so good dream that we went swimming. Really? So did I. And I had a dream that you made the most amazing cookies. <laughs> really? So did I. And I had another dream that we went sledding down a hill. Well, really? So did I. This is uncanny. Remarkable. Well, I'm getting ready to wake up, so you better get back to your own dream. But I'll see you when we wake up. Yes, I'd better get back to hibernating. Spring is nearly here. Well, I think it's just around the corner. Friends!